Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back in the zombie apocalypse here. Uh, you guys are really enjoying this series. Also, if you missed the last episode, we did kind of a zombie hospital with a secret lab in the back. I'll flash it in the top right corner if you want to check that out. But today, I have some plans. So, I've got two different builds in mind. We're going to do one today and one on the next episode. But today's build is going to be about trains. Uh, I'm going to call it like a zombie train and a Mad Max train. It's like a mix. And it's going to be traveling through the, uh, the wasteland here. And the next build, a lot of people wanted to see like a zombie airport. That was one of the highly upvoted comments from the last video which I think we're going to be doing that. So if you guys have any suggestions for this build, uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see next in Tiny Town and we'll get around to it. And then eventually we are going to move back out into the normal city and uh, play more in that side and, and maybe come up with some more disasters. But yeah, like I said, comment below. And if you guys are enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to build a road behind the uh, the bandit camp here, which I'm going to zoom in down on this. And this is where the railroad's going to be. And there's going to be a train passing through that I'm going to have to use the normal train, but I'm going to armor it up and add bandits to it, add some zombies to it. I think it'll be right here. And then maybe we'll have like a decayed out station on the other side. I think this is actually going to look really cool. So we need to build a crossing right here. And then I need to pull the train stuff out, which I haven't played with trains in this game. And geez, it's been a very long time. So I'm actually really looking forward to this build here today. So let's go ahead and stick this here. So this will probably be about where the crossing is. So we'll get that out here in just a second. And then of course I need my mud piece over here because I guess green grass doesn't uh, actually grow in the apocalypse for some reason. Maybe it's the infection. I don't know, I've been really enjoying uh, seeing the comments you guys have been posting on these videos. A lot of people have theories about kind of what's happening here in Tiny Town. Uh, so do keep those up because I love reading those and trying to respond to them. Because some of you guys are actually a little bit more creative than I am when it comes to story here in Tiny Town. All right, so here's our track. Here's our crossing here. Uh, we're still going to have some buildings in this area, but I think some of this will be like an open field. So we'll probably put a bunch of dead trees, uh, some garbage, maybe some hollowed out cars. So like I said, we've got to get creative here uh, with this one. So we're going to need to use the trains. No telling what they're actually transporting. Uh, probably some goods, some weapons, uh, maybe fuel. That's probably something or even uh, water, I would say. Those are probably two valuable assets that they would need to actually carry. I think we're going to use a red train here. So we have a red engine. Let's go and grab two of these. Uh, we're definitely going to need to be carrying some tanks. So we have a fuel car here. Let's see. We need some tank cars. Actually, let's get the big one here. And then we'll have some cargo containers. And then we'll decorate all of this. Okay, so let's have our train. Let's go and snap it down on the track. Oh, I forgot how satisfying it was using this. So what is this scaling like? Okay, that thing is actually fairly big. Hold on, let's grab a person out real quick, just to make sure the scaling is right and we don't have to adjust it. No, that looks, uh, no, that looks pretty good, actually. That's one thing they got really right in the game. Uh, some of the scaling of the cars and buildings are a little weird and you have to move them around, but the trains, they look good. All right, so here's our train setup that we've got so far. Now this is where I get to get a little bit creative. So we got to make this thing not look like a normal train anymore. Like it needs armor. It needs all sorts of goodies on it. So we will go to the zombie apocalypse uh, selection here. And then what we're really going to go to, we're going to go to the individual pieces. So there's a lot of like barrier pieces, armor pieces that I think we can actually retrofit onto the front of this train. And uh, actually all up and down it to kind of armor it up. Say like stuff like even this, like these wall pieces. If we were to adjust the size on these, we could totally like create barriers here at the top. Uh, that way people can fight off them. So something like that. And then we can stick that all the way down. Uh, just some ideas as to what we're going to do. So, oh yeah, even the fence pieces. Ooh, these actually would work really well. Uh, we can armor up the sides here. Just a little extra layer of protection for the train. 
All right, let me go ahead and get to work here, and I'll show you guys after I tinker around with it a little bit what it's going to look like. All right, so you can see I'm starting to armor up the side of the train here. I'm adding pieces. I'm trying to make the two sides a little bit different because they wouldn't put the same thing on each side. They're just really trying to strap on uh, really whatever armor they can from metal pieces to wood boards, uh, even just some protection for the people on the train itself. Uh, you can see I've added a couple jail cages up here. Maybe they're transporting some zombies. Uh, maybe they're transporting, I don't know, prisoners. I even added this little thing up here, even though the ladder doesn't make sense. I'll have to look like that's like maybe strapped on or something. Uh, but yeah, I added this extra cart up here. Maybe we'll have a machine gun nest up here at the top, uh, protecting the fuel carts. Now the fuel cars are gonna need a little bit extra here. I think for these, I'm gonna actually button these up real quick. So, and when I say that, I'm talking something like, hold on, let's make this one a little bigger. Something like this, that way they're completely enclosed. Because you're probably going to want to keep this stuff really, really safe. Another thing I'm trying to do, I'm leaving a gap in between carts like this. Because realistically, if I connected all these walls, if this train were to have a turn, the armor wouldn't work. It would actually hit each other and break and all that. So I'm trying to keep the gaps uh, in between the train cars here. Alright, that's looking pretty good so far. So we need something on the front of this thing. So obviously you have the, the plow that's already on there, but... I feel like we need something, I don't know, a little bit more deadly looking. So we could make our own plow here. Huh. So maybe we should extend it out. Maybe we'll do something. I'm going to turn off snapping real quick because I think I'm going to need that. So maybe we'll make this go down. We're going to create like a plow. I guess that's going to go up, but I think I'm going to stick some spikes on it. Uh, actually, let's see. Can I use this piece again? So say if I were to go... Uh, like this here. Oh, let's grab one more. And then there will need to be some sort of point on this. So something like that. Uh, I'm trying to make this meet in the middle and look right. Something like that, maybe. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of fine-tuning here. Uh, I need a point. I need something that's sharp. Uh, oh, you can always use a traffic cone. <laughs> Actually, what if I were to stick the spikes in there like this? That kind of looks pretty mean. Hold on, let's go ahead and get another one here. Another one here. Oh, dude, we could totally stick some zombies on this too. Hold on, let's make one more set poke out like this. Jeez. <laughs> you know, that probably wouldn't last very long since it is wood, but I mean, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> so I think we're going to keep that. Now, I do want to put a little section on the front of the train here to protect people because I'm pretty sure... There's going to be somebody here at the front, so let me think. Uh, maybe just another fence piece, potentially. Maybe something, another one of these pieces. Shrink it down, and we're going to stick it, like, right here on the front. So we'll go one there, and then here, we'll do three of these, and then I'll space them a little bit better. There we go, something like that. That looks pretty cool. I think I'm pretty happy with this train. All right, so obviously, let's go ahead and add some zombies to the front of this. This thing's been going for a while. Ooh, we could have added a car in front of it, too. No, maybe we'll just do the zombies for now. So, what would it look like when a poor old zombie gets stuck on the front of this train? Uh, it's probably not going to be pretty. Let's go ahead and pose him like he's already been hit. And then, let's go ahead and go... Whoop. Actually, something like maybe that? He's probably still alive. He is a zombie. Actually, we'll make him look up. And he'll still be trying to reach out to the people. But, yeah, he's, uh, he's impelled on the uh, front of the train there. That looks cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I like that a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some uh, people. Now, question is, is this a friendly train or is it a bandit train? Maybe it's a... You know, I think this is gonna be kind of a friendly train. Maybe they're trying to get goods in between, like, the settlements. And we could put the Mad Max cars trying to attack this train. That is actually an idea and a half here. So let me go ahead and put up the friendly survivors on, and then we'll get some uh, bandit-looking ones chasing them down in the cars. All right, let's get some uh, Mad Max-style cars here. So we'll probably have a car, like a lead car, which we'll probably use this muscle car here. This thing's kind of acting probably as a distraction, Han, huh? scaling-wise. It needs to be a little bit bigger. There we go. All right. 
So this thing's running alongside it. Probably have a guy sticking out shooting. Now we're gonna have a vehicle back here. We're gonna use the fire truck actually. And it's gonna be here towards the back. They're actually gonna be trying to get on to the train. And I have a cool little scene planned here. So they're gonna be about right there. And then I'm pretty sure maybe the train got the best of one of these. Uh, so maybe we'll stick the hot rod here. It's bouncing off the plow here. We'll probably have people getting ejected out of it. So we'll stick it in the air somewhere over here. That looks pretty cool. So as you can see, I've already stuck some people on the train. So you got a guy here in the front defending. Uh, this guy here needs actually a weapon real quick. Uh, let's give him just a pistol. Uh, let's go ahead and shrink that down. This is one of those custom pistols. I think it looks a little bit better than the one in the game. So we'll stick that in his hand there. So you got people up here at the top. Uh, they're running back and forth trying to defend it. Now over here, we're going to create a scene. You can already see one guy is getting thrown off the train. And this is where I think we're going to stick some bandits actually jumping onto the train, uh, trying to get to the goods. All right, so let's go back over the action here. So I added a uh, person flying out of the car uh, that was flipping off the front of the train. And then over here, I actually added a, a bandit dual wielding uh, two assault rifles. Uh, I don't know how she's doing that, managing to steer the, the car, but she just is. Poor fellow up there is probably about to get it. So we can go back here. That guy's now got... Oh, let's get rid of one of these. I put some muzzle flashes on some of these guns here. So this guy's firing back at this one over here. We got another car that's uh, zooming alongside, kind of jumping over the curb there. And then back here, I actually think this is cool looking. So you can see where the fire truck is pulled up. They're uh, pulling the one guy off. Poor guy's about to fall down. Probably uh, meet the same fate this fellow was. And I think this is gonna be a, a bandit. Maybe he got shot off the top of this. And he got hit by his own plow. So yeah, you've got that. Over here, you got the guy with the RPG, and this guy's running up the train, uh, trying to take the front of it here. All right, so we've got that part settled. What I need to do, I need to decorate around the train now because it still looks like a big, uh, kind of empty dirt lot. So I need to do that. I need to probably add some buildings on this side and make it look a little bit better around the surrounding area. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys one more look here of the zombie train slash Mad Max slash whatever we should call this. You know, if we had a railroad in the zombie apocalypse, what would the name be for it? Say they were still running in some sort of business. Huh, I'm almost curious. But yeah, you can see that I've added a ton of debris. I added some background items. Uh, it goes all the way up here. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna need to go ahead and complete this road back here. And we need to figure out where is the airport gonna be? Maybe back off in this corner, potentially? I think that's possibly where we're gonna do this. But uh, first things first, I need to do a little bit of work here. I would like to also add a train station, so we need to do that too. All right, so you can see our train station here. The problem with the train station is, man, it actually looks like it's in pretty decent shape, which isn't good for us because we need this thing to look like it's destroyed. Uh, we could eventually also do a train yard behind it. Now the zombie apocalypse thing, you know what? Let's go ahead and turn off snapping real quick. If I were to dip this down into the ground, I want to make it look like the train station's basically destroyed. So I'm going to use a combination of the debris pieces here. Also, there is a piece in here. Let me go ahead and find it real quick. Uh, it makes it look like the grass, well, what grass there is in this zombie apocalypse, but it makes it look like stuff's overgrown. Here we go. We got this. So we got this overgrowth that we could totally stick on this. Okay, I think we can make this work. Uh, it's not the greatest shape. You know, they're probably operating off a different station now. Maybe there's like a custom station for the trains now, and this thing just kind of exists in the background. All right, so we're going to go back in here and do another overview. I've added quite a bit more detail here. So I do want to eventually do a complete train loop. I think it's really just going to be one big oval or something. But you can see down here, uh, actually, you know what? I have an idea. Maybe we'll make one of the loops go off into a tunnel and maybe it'll go underground or something. I, I don't know how to complete this. But anyways, you can see I've added another uh, zombie to the front. Uh, this zombie here is having a very bad day. <laughs> it's a lot worse than this other one. So we can go back here. I added a zombie to the front of this vehicle here. I completed the road. You could see all the debris that I've added. And I thought maybe it'd be a nice touch to add like some zombies walking around in here. Uh, they're seeing all the chaos pass by. 
Uh, one more thing. I thought maybe I was going to put zombies in the cages up here, but I think I put a bandit up here. So maybe the uh, people captured the bandit, they were going to transport uh, her to a potential jail or something. And you can see she's reaching out of the cage, uh, trying to tell everybody, like, hey, I'm over here. You might want to come pick me up. So we've got that. I've got some more zombies over here. You can see the street's pretty much complete. Uh, debris, cars. I think I did a decent job, which this is the first time on this piece is bothering me. Put that down. Yeah, this is the first time, and I've done it before with some other buildings, but maybe trying to make it look a little more zombified and using some of the overgrowth here. And I think the train station actually came out pretty good uh, because you can see some of the stuff's boarded up, some overgrowth on the side and some debris. I even used like a little hole piece uh, to stick a hole in the side or actually up towards the roof. Uh, the backside's all crushed in. And the, the whole train station's actually leaned over this way, so the platform that was there is probably completely destroyed. But overall, I think that came out actually pretty decent. For that being a non-zombie piece, uh, since it's actually a, a part of the town collection. So let me go ahead and give you guys an overview here. Look at that. We got a whole back section. This looks way... I, I was actually really happy, and before I say it, like, this does look to me better than the last zombie apocalypse in the old city, uh, but... I just think this one's just laid out a little better. And then the whole fact that we're probably going to get like a zombie airport here uh, really soon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below uh, about the train here. I think it came out great. Uh, thank you guys for all the love and support on the Tiny Town series. You guys are amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town VR.